do after installing the driver in the computer is to hook up the communication cable and the electrical cord. Once you've done that, go ahead and turn the printer on. Once it comes to the ready stage, you can go ahead and load your cards. Once you've loaded your cards, open up the cover of the printer and check the gauge to make sure it's set for the thickness of your card. The most general card is a 30 mil card, so you'll want to adjust it to the thickness of the card so you don't have more than one card pulled in at a time. Once you've done that, you need to put in the cleaning unit, and the cleaning unit has an arrow on it to show which direction it goes into the printer. And it simply goes into the groove on the back frame and drops down into position. Once you've got the cleaning unit in, come over and open the print head by pushing the latch on the back. Open the print head, and you'll want to put the spool in, which is an I-series ribbon that has the white flange on the back. Putting it in, you'll want to go from top spindle to top spindle with the unused portion going underneath the print head. Once you push it in, make sure that the roll underneath the print head clicks into place and kind of pull it back just to tighten the slack out of it. Close the print head by pushing the latch on the back and it will calibrate the ribbon so that you're ready to start to print. Using the lamination unit on the P520i, you'll want to do the same thing with the lamination ribbon. Is you'll open the print head by pushing the latch, put the unused portion of the ribbon underneath the print head, and pushing it on until it's all the way back into place. Close the print head with the latch on the back, and it will also calibrate the ribbon, lamination ribbon, so you're ready to go. Once you've got everything loaded, close the cover, send a print job to it. For further technical assistance, please call our 1-800 number or visit RacoCard.com.